Hey everyone, this is Tony Sockage from Augur, and we have Dr. Jack Peterson and Joey Krug with us here for an awesome talk about some of the things that are happening, including the Augur Beta, of course. The, the first and really only thing I have to say from my side is a big thank you to everyone at Georgia State University for naming Augur a finalist in their Max Awards. And what was so cool about this is that we were nominated along with some really big brands for our marketing, including Coca-Cola, the Atlanta Hawks, Cricket Wireless. They're just a couple. We also got this nice little write-up here. As you can see, my face, because I was the one that attended here in Atlanta. And we're right next to the Atlanta Hawks. So there was, a, there was seven, or I think it was seven finalists altogether. And it's really an honor to be a part of something that was named a great marketing uh, package. And we were pretty much the smallest group there. So... Thank you to everyone there, and of course, thanks to Joey and Jack, because they were a huge part of our marketing efforts, and everyone currently on the team, previously on the team, Perry and Jeremy, they were everyone there was a huge help, so thank you for making 2015 huge for Augur, and what we're talking about now is why 2016 is even going to be bigger for Augur, so I'm going to toss this over to Jack in a minute to kind of go into a little bit about the beta, or I should say Joey, not Jack, uh, to go into a little bit about the beta, and a little bit about the new team members that are on board now, because the, the 2016 version of Augur looks a little bit different. So, Joey, go ahead. Yes, yeah, so I guess I'll, I'll start off with the new team members we have. Um, so we, had, uh, we have Carl with us now, who's doing some design work. Uh, he did a lot of the design for the old Entrade uh, UI. And so he's you know, helping, he knows how to design a trading system, so he's helping us with that. Um, and then we also have uh, Tomas, uh, who also used to be with Intrade, um, who's a UI developer, who's, who's working on that with Jack. Um, and then uh, there's two other new people, I think. Um, one would be uh, Baz, who's, who's also basically helping out with the UI, um, basically pitching in here and there to kind of fill in the gaps, basically. Um, and then the other new person is uh, Ryan, um, who's, who's working with me mainly on basically making sure the incentive structures and things are, are set up properly on the back end. Um, and that's, that's kind of where we're at there. As far as the beta, um, we're basically looking to launch that uh, very soon, mainly so we can test out the core feature set is the main idea for it. Um, we want to make sure everything works at a basic level. And then, you know, as the beta goes on, we'll add uh, some of the new, new things that we've been working on, like uh, a full and order book, and some of the reporting backstops. So, you know, if the reporting system fails, it, it doesn't just fail. It has uh, backstops to basically kind of recover. And to interrupt you real quick, just so you know, um, I, I, I should have mentioned this too. The first time most individuals, we, we will have this a little up early, but the first time most individuals will see this will be during the full beta announcement. So when you say in the soon, odds, odds are most people. There will be a few. They get a sneak peek. But most people are going to see this right now as the beta comes out, and they'll be able to check the beta right as or while they're, while they're watching this video. So just a little additional piece there. And I, I don't know if you had more to say on the beta, because I know there's a lot of things that were going into there. And as soon as one of our older posts that was posted about two months ago had all kinds of new things that we're working on and planning. So I'm just going to let you continue. I just wanted to let you know that, that there's going to be mo most people that watch this will already be seeing it while the beta's out. Yeah. Um, let's see. I mean, the, the main thing, you know, for the beta is when, if you looked at our alpha, for one, the, the UI is way different. It's been basically revamped entirely uh, for the beta. And then one of the other big things is that there are multiple market types now. Uh, so if you think back to the alpha, all you could do is create binary markets. So will this happen or not? Um, with the beta, you can have categorical markets. So that's like, you know, of the current Republican candidates, which one will win the majority of the states in Super Tuesday? Um, so things like that. And then the, the final new type of market is uh, scalar markets. So if you have, um, let's say you have something like how many inches of rain are going to fall in some certain valley, and you want to get an accurate estimate for that. That's what you'd use a scalar market for. And those are the, those are the main things we're looking to test out in the beta, those market types as well as the reporting system to actually resolve the markets. And uh, Jack can touch on more of the, the UI centrics, you know, changes that have, that have happened since the alpha because it's completely different. 
Jack, do you want to go on a little bit about the UI and we can talk a little bit about that? And then, unfortunately, Joey's going to have to let us go for the for the second half of this. So what we'll do is we'll cut there and we'll, we'll be right back with everyone. They won't even notice. But, Jack, give us a little bit there so that way Joey can kind of fill in if there's anything on this end that he needs to speak on. Oh, um, well, I guess the... Uh, the the main thing that uh, Joey might have more uh, sort of useful things to say about than me is uh, um, we we are going to be going through um, a uh, pretty uh, a thorough security audit um, of the of the contract code uh, prior to launching. That's sort of that's sort of the um, aside from just sort of te you know te testing things out, you know, making sure the user experience is good. Uh, you know, we want to make sure that the it, the contract code is really rock solid. Um, and I think Joey and I are both, um, you know, we haven't gone through a formal security audit before, so um, we're we're going to be hiring we're going to be hiring a uh, a group to do this, uh, probably the same group that did um, Ethereum security audits. Yeah, but Joey, I don't know if you had anything. Yeah, the we'll probably hire. I mean, so the, so we'll probably hire you know multiple different groups um, to kind of look at different things from the, from the security's perspective, because um, there's basically a, a couple of main things you want to approach at. You want to look at um, one is is the theory behind it even secure? Um, so like in practice, does it even work? Um, and then two is the actual implementation, so the code, which Jack Jack talked about mostly, which is like, you know, if we want X to happen. Does our code actually do X every time as it's supposed to, or is there a you know little scenario where you can get it to not do X? And that's kind of what security audits are are targeted for. Um, it's probably still a ways off before we do those, though, because we'll want both um, the full order book to be implemented before we do security audits and uh, the two reporting backstops, which are you know when you first report on things, you're randomly selected, um, and if that doesn't work. Basically, you have everyone report on something, and if that still gets it wrong, um, then you basically can fork the network. And so, it doesn't really make, say, make sense to do you know full security audits until those things are implemented. Um, and so that that'll probably be in a couple months, I I would guess, once once those start. Awesome. That's that's awesome to hear. Um, and I think, did you have anything else you wanted to add, Joey? If not, we can kind of let you go and continue on because there's all kinds of UI questions I have for Jack. So, yeah, I don't think I really have anything else besides that. Cool. So um, feel free to follow Joey on Twitter at at Joey Krug four four seven. And of course, there's always Augur at Augur Project, and we can give you, we'll give you more of that at the end of this video. But uh, take care, Joey, and we'll see everyone else around for part two. See ya. Hey, Tony Sakic back here with from, with Augur, with uh, Jack Peterson, of course. We're talking a little bit more about the beta and everything that's happening over at Team Augur, which, what it, once again, augur.net. So, so Jax, now that the beta is here, uh, what took so long, and why are we here, and what were the issues with it, and how awesome is it to finally be at this day where we can say, okay, the beta part's done? It's pretty awesome. <laughs> it's about 100% awesome. Um, yeah, that's. I guess that's the the elephant in the room. Everyone's been asking us for uh, a while. You know, where's so where's the beta, guys? Um, and uh, yeah, so I, I, I let me just go into a little bit about sort of like what our process has been for making the beta. Um, the I guess I just start off by saying that um, you know a, a lot of our timeline has been driven by our hiring process, um, and one thing that uh, I've become more cognizant of. By going through this process, um, you know, several times is how important it is to really make sure you get like the best developers. Um, I, I remember Paul Graham uh, wrote a wrote an essay about this about how like um, programmer productivity, uh, you know, it it varies logarithmically. So like the the best programmers, um, you know, might be uh, ten or a hundred times more productive than just an average programmer. You know, there were and there's been you know studies and such that have, you know, showed the same thing. And, um, you know, so that, and what that means is just that, like, you know, you, you really need to make sure that you get, like, the absolute best programmers you can. You, know, you don't want to settle for someone that's just, you know, okay. So we had a, uh, you know, we went through a really a pretty uh, rigorous screening process for, uh, you know, hiring UI developers. Um, uh, what I ended up having people do, I, aside from just an interview, was was uh, just had people work on a live ticket on the system. Um, and uh, 
yeah, and so that you know that that took that took a couple of months, but um, we and uh, you know out of, out of this process, um, we ended up uh, so we hired we hired um, uh, we had we had one guy who passed all the tests, and so you know of course we ended up hiring him. That's Baz. That's uh, um, our newest UI developer. Um, we also and we also hired uh, uh, Joey mentioned this a, a little bit. We, we hired um, uh, Tomas uh, Prasinski, who was um, one of the uh, the, the, the trade sports and in trade uh, UI developers, um, and one reason why we thought that, that was you know hiring Tomas was pretty huge is because I'll, you know I, I got into prediction markets to begin with just because like I I really liked in trade I mean I thought it was I thought it was an awesome site I used it a lot um, I thought it was I thought it was just really really cool um, and uh, you know, I think I think in trade was sort of the thing that really turned a lot of people onto prediction markets and what they could do. Um, and one important thing that they had going for them was just they had a really nice. I thought that they, they had a really nice UI. Uh, I remember when I was, uh, you know, well, I was working on actually an unrelated website. I I remember you like using the in trade version four design as, as sort of like a you know, like inspiration because I liked it so much. Um, and uh, so what we what we decided was you know, people didn't really seem like they were reacting very well to our old UI's design, uh, a sentiment that I shared, um, but not having a really wonderful sense of design myself, it's hard to figure out exactly how to make it better. Um, that, you know, I kept thinking like, well, why, you know, maybe we should just try and make this like in trade, you know, because that's like, we, we know that's a prediction market system that had a really nice, User interface is one that worked really well, um, and um, so that's we've we've ended up very much going going down that route. Um, we uh, and 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 hiring Tomas was a big part of that because uh, he was there. He was their UI developer. We've and we've also uh, hired uh, Carl Wolfenden, who's uh, he was he was a, a in trade and trade sports designer and product manager, and um, yeah, he's just he's been really terrific as far as. Um, you know, just sort of, uh, you know, getting things visually, getting things visually laid out. Um, so, uh, so if you go, so the the beta looks a lot different than than the alpha now. It's basically been uh, entirely rethought and rebuilt, and um, you know, so it's it's more and more like a sort of a crypto in trade and crypto trade sports. I have to say, uh, I absolutely d I had no idea about the comment of how you appreciated the in-trade layout and the UI back in the day. That was a cool story that I've actually never heard, um, and it it kind of goes full circle. And and it really is neat that we've had that that you know Tomas especially. I know um, we've received a few questions on the on the Augur subreddit about him joining the team, and you know it seems like everyone that we've had join in the past few months has been has fit in great and seems to be working really well with the entire dev team. Uh, something where I like to follow from the outside, of course. I'm not a developer, but I it's it's I'm I'm auger all the way, so I like to see what's going on, and it seems to be very positive you've in even, that front. You even got the hat. I even got the hat. The, the rest that's of the team get the hat. <laughs> no, that's a terrific. That's a terrific hat. Absolutely, it's a terrific. It's fitted too. I figured it's a great way when I'm in things like this, where even if I was wearing an auger shirt, or if I'm not, of course you're going to see my head. So I, I want to promote auger as much as I can. And I think it's a cool logo. So, um, so I uh, it works. Well, it, it might it might be overkill if you were wearing the hat and the shirt. It would absolutely. That's that's why I picked one or the other. And I knew that my but the hat, but the hat no the hat looks good though. It's uh, and that is, that is a cool logo. I said it is a very cool logo. I yeah. I, I think you should check out auger.net, Jack. I hear it's a really cool project. Um, and, okay, yeah, I'll stop. Yeah, um, no, 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 don't stop. No, I, I'm just I was just joking because don't get me wrong. When it comes to people interested in what we're doing, um, the the coolest thing that happened. This is a little side anecdote. Is I was at a concert here wearing my auger shirt and someone came up to me and was like auger I love what you guys are doing and I was like like looking around I was so happy I was like oh oh really there's someone that's into it so of course I spent 20 minutes talking with them not getting a good spot for the show I was in the back but whatever if I could talk about auger with someone at a concert I was I was good about it so it was it was fun and it's cool because you know you expect that at a crypto conference but not at a concert but uh, yeah right. well it means we have we have good marketing right thank no, you. it's, it's, thank it's you. funny actually but, uh, my, my wife Fox I uh, well, one of her coworkers, um, like she, she has an, an, an auger T-shirt and she wore it to work. And one of her coworkers was like, "Oh, auger, you know, that, is that that's that you know the Bitcoin prediction market thing?" And she's uh, like, "Yeah, yeah, you know about it." And he's just like, "Oh yeah, you know, auger is awesome." Um, that's so and, cool. Uh, yeah, so it's 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 neat that people are actually like 
you know, spreading its tentacles. Um, yeah, at least, you know, in, in nerdy spheres are, are aware of it. They're the spheres yes, I think that we need that we need the most. So if we're if we're working on nerdy spheres, they're the ones. They're the ones. Um, I mean, I guess back to a little bit about the beta, and this is something where you know Joey mentioned it a little bit, and I don't know how deep you want to go into this. So if you don't, I, we can always move on. But you know, what were some new features that were implemented, and what were some of your favorites? What are some things that you really want to talk about the beta that maybe uh, you know aren't necessarily things, or, or, or in the, not necessarily things people would instantly recognize, but are important to you? Or if this is a better way to answer this. If not, pick which one. What was a challenge in, in in the beta process that maybe created a lot more issues and delays and you know work than you anticipated? Um, well, for that last thing, uh, <laughs> there there are a lot of there actually are, are quite a few things that fall into that category. Um, you know, it, making a decentralized applications uh, as we're discovering is is not. You know, it's not anything like a, a cut and dried process. Like if you're making a, you know, just a regular website. I, I, I used to, you know, do, do freelance programming. I would make websites. Every website's not exactly the same, but they're, they are cut and dried enough that you can, you know, say with great confidence that, you know, I will have this done by the end of the month. And, you know, you, you, there's no question marks about it. That's so why I'm always careful to kind of bookend, you know, well, how long do I think this will take? Okay, well, we have estimates, right? I mean, we have, uh, you know, issue boards. Each issue has, uh, you know, a number of hours that I think it's going to take. But those, you know, those have those have er er significant error bars on them. You know, they are just estimates. It's not like, oh, we're definitely going to have this done by this time. Um, and, it's, and really the reason for that is just because, like, it's we're building the whole stack. Um, well, with the with the exception of uh, Ethereum, but the Ethereum team is is building uh, like we're using Go Ethereum, and that's something that is you know it's it's being constructed like kind of from under us, and so you know there are changes, and that can be disruptive when there are changes. Uh, and the the analogy I like to make is you know imagine uh, I, I know you're not a developer, but like developers are familiar with uh, like what's called the, the the lamp stack. It's like the, the boring website stack. This, this uh, the the stack we're working on is something like if uh, not only you had to worry about your code, but if like MySQL was changing a lot and like you know PHP was kind of evolving and you know. Uh, HTTP requests were changing, so there, there's 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 a lot of there's a lot of flux there, um, and uh, sorry that that was the third I think least important thing that you you, you asked uh, two other things. Go on about it. Oh, the the other two. <laughs> uh, the other one is just what either either what did you in, you know what features do you really enjoy or do you think stood out to you as really cool things that maybe All aren't right. going silly notice or just what are some cool new features in general either or or both or just talk about the well, data. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I mean, a, a lot of the, uh, you know, the, the work that was done to bring the, the alpha release, the beta release, is just kind of look and feel stuff. Um, and it, it, I, I think it's easy to kind of, uh, you know, uh, downplay the importance of, you know, look and feel and, uh, you know, just sort of user experience stuff and be like, oh, you know, it's just like design stuff. Um, I've been guilty of that myself in the past, but I, you know, I think that at the end of the day, that stuff's really important and it's actually pretty hard. Um, especially if you're somebody like me who doesn't have like a real, you know, like an innate knack for that. That's why I'm actually so grateful that we have Carl on the team who really, really gets that stuff. You know, he gets, you know, what, what is the user's mindset when they're going on to like a prediction market site like when they want to make a trade and he really knows how to make it, make it flow well. Um, uh, you know, a lot, a lot of the uh, the technical work that's that we've been doing um, on the beta is uh, it, it, it basically it's like efficiency stuff. Um, I, I'm sure you remember the initial alpha release was, um, you know, it was really slow. It was really slow. Yes, uh, it was. <laughs> and you know, I mean, and, and it's an alpha. You know, so alpha has those kinds of problems. But um, a lot of the uh, the work that was done to uh, sort of bring the alpha forward was um, basically, you know, making the networking code more efficient, um, and um, you know, uh, and and just you know, sort of adding you know new new features to the contracts to make that you know after so after we set up the website is clear. Okay, well we need you know this information. It should be structured like this, and so we, we can go back to the, the Ethereum contracts and put in you know a, a getter that you know okay well, I want to get information about this market and specifically this information. It should be structured like this, and so that kind of thing. There, there can be a lot of performance gains from that because you know we're sending requests to 
the Ethereum nodes and you know the the round trip time on those can be it can it can be significant. Um, so uh, you know if we can make if we can get all the information about you know the markets in, in one round trip instead of a hundred, then that's a big win. Um, and so that that's a that's a lot of the stuff we've been doing. As far as like concrete features, uh, the biggest one is probably the one Joey talked about. You know different market types. We we used to just have uh, we call it binary markets, so like uh, yes or no, whether or not whether or not something's going to happen. Um, now we have uh, we have multiple choice markets, um, which um, you know so that that's more like you know who's going to win the presidential election. You know, you, and you have a list of five people, uh, or who or who's going to win this? Or, well, I guess the Super Bowl is just just two teams, but but I guess it, but it could be more than two if it's you know well in advance of the Super Bowl. Yeah. Who's going to be in the, who's going to be in the Super Bowl? Absolutely. Um, and we also have numerical markets. So like, you know, how many inches of rain will there be next year? Um, so they, they, these really give, I think, people a lot more um, uh, flexibility for how they want to construct their markets. Uh, and there's a lot of bells and whistles, too. I mean, I mean, really, it's, it's uh, probably instead of just me, me going on about it, it's easier for people to just go to the website. So uh, app.augur.net. Um, and uh, if you go to app.augur.net, that's the, that's the beta. It, and, um, you know, you'll see that the site, if you saw the alpha, you'll see that this is completely redone. Um, it's, you know, it's much faster, uh, it has a more visually pleasing design, I think. And, um, you know, and, and there's a lot of uh, bells and whistles, like, uh, you know, there's, we have metadata, like market tags, we have, we integrated with IPFS. Uh, that's actually, that was a, a pretty big technical thing uh, on that, that, that I've been working on, which is just like, um, you know, some of the stuff that's more like kind of bulk data, like, like it'd be, we always thought you know it'd be pretty cool to have people upload an image associated with the market, right? They kind of add some punch to the the market page, um, but you have to pay to store data on the Ethereum blockchain, and you know images are images are big. Like it's not really practical to store an image on Ethereum. You could do it, but it's not really practical. Um, and uh, so what we've we've been using for that is is uh, this. It's a it's a a very new technology called uh, IPFS, um, and um, I don't know if it's really worth going into how IPFS works. Basically, it takes the idea that uh, it, like, if you want to look up something on the internet, like, say, you want, um, you know, uh, some you, some picture, and you know exactly where it is. Okay, so you, it, the in the the normal uh, sort of the normal web way you do that is you you go to you know mywebsite.com slash picture.jpg and it gives you that um and uh, what the what the founder of ipfs uh noticed was that you know that that actually it it really conflates two different ideas one of which is what is the thing that i want you know i want this image and two is where is it and and really m most of the time as the end user you care about what the thing is right you, you want this particular image, but you know, you you'd be happy to get it from wherever. If someone sitting right next to you had a copy of it, then that that'd be great. Um, and IPFS basically is it's a it's a way of um, you know a accessing accessing files by their contents. So there's each file has like a unique sort of like a unique address. Uh, it's a hash uh, just generated from its data, and you can use that to look it up. And you can grab it from any computer on IPFS that that has it. Um, so it's it's really it's it's a very cool technology. It's new, so there's been some hiccups with it. And we're using it to store uh, images. We use it to store um, other kinds of metadata associated with the markets, like longer descriptions beyond just like you know a sentence or two. Uh, you know uh, tags like categories for the markets. Um, you know helpful external links, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so and then and then that's all. If you, so, if you go to app.augur.net and you see, oh, there's you know there's there's tags and there's images. Uh, uh, that's that's all. That's all IPFS, IPFS goodness. Absolutely, and I've I've you know new to IPFS as well as as an idea. Of course, I'm not working on the development side. It's a really cool project. I'd like to encourage anyone that was very interested in what you were just talking about to check out their site at ipfs.io since it's a major part of the Augur coming up, of the Augur project coming up in the forth forthcoming future. We encourage anyone, specifically anyone that's contributing on GitHub or reviewing our code, which you can also check out at github.com/slash 
auger project i like to get all of our little plugs in there first we got more don't worry um we got we got plenty more don't worry but yeah absolutely and and my my favorite part about the new beta is very simple uh whenever i'm checking it out because you know of course a part of the team we've all kind of ran through it is just how how much faster it does load uh, I remember when I was using the alpha on Chrome and Safari, which are the two browsers I mainly use, it would take minutes. Sometimes it wouldn't load. This time it's it's almost instantaneous. Sometimes there might be a slight hiccup and it's a little less than instantaneous, but the, the, the slowest load was just ridiculously fast. So I think that users that use the alpha and may have had that as one of their chief complaints are going to be very happy with what's happened and moved on there. And the layout, of course, uh, you know, as someone with also very little UI experience, uh, the, the ability to create a market, participate in a market just was was like that. And and something I mentioned to you off air and I'd like to share with everyone else was giving it, showing my mom saying, hey, you know, check this out. Tell me what you think. And my mom participated and she played around with it a little and she got it. And my mom is not tech savvy. So huge thank you to my mom also and to all moms out there. They're all great. But um, <laughs> yeah, I, she did a great job. But I think uh, the entire dev team, the UX guys, we, we were U, UI guys rather, ha, did it just a fantastic job on that. And with, with that said, you know, I, I wanted to kind of wrap this up a little bit because we talked a lot about the beta, other things. And right now users can check out the beta. But you know, you know what question is going to be coming out as soon as, as soon as, People see this video, try out the beta, they're going to say, okay, what's next? So what what's in the near future for Augur regarding both the, the final release, regarding upcoming work, upcoming uh, little side projects that you may have to do to incorporate into the major thing? What's next for you? What's next for the team? And just, just I guess, what's next? Well, uh, yeah, so we are going to be, we're, we're progressing towards the, after we release the beta, we'll be progressing towards the live release. Um, the uh, there, there are uh, a couple. So, as, like Joey talked about, there's a couple new things that need to go in on the back end, reporting backstops, uh, sort of the main one. Um, and then, the, I think the bulk of the time uh, between uh, the release of the beta and the live release will be the security audits. Um, uh, now, no, none of us on the team have actually gone through a, a formal security audit process before. Um, so, you know, we're we're gonna let that take however long it needs to, right? I mean, security is important and it's it's something that, you know, we we take really seriously. We know we have to take it seriously, uh, you know, we're, we're, because this, you know, the, the system is gonna have, you know, real real cryptocurrencies in it, um, you know, and can't, can't be losing people's money. So, um, so the, yeah, those, those are the main things. Um, and, you know, uh, my sort of off the cuff estimate for how, how long the security audits might take, you know, two, three months. Um, but um, like I said, I haven't, been, I haven't been through the process before, so I don't really know. Um, and by the way, the, you know, that, that, uh, that anecdote that you shared about your mom, that's actually, that's actually really, uh, that's really good to hear um, because, you know, m most of the people that like we, we've been getting, a, you know, people that try the beta are, you know, they, they seem like they like it and, you know, they're, have you know fairly positive feedback about the UI, which which is a nice change. Um, but there are you know by and large they're they're pretty technical people. So there's always something in the back of your mind like you know well okay but now if you if you you know if you weren't a giant nerd would you still like this? Um, and so like that like any any time like you know someone who isn't real technical or isn't into like especially isn't into like prediction markets otherwise or into trading or into cryptocurrencies, they try it and they're like, hey, this is solid. I understand it. Like I get where this is coming from and you know I think it's cool and I want to use it. Like that that means that means that uh, you know the UI is is you know it's getting where it needs to be. And that's good. Absolutely, and I, th I think you're right on that. And I also think that first and foremost, Augur is probably for the nerds. Uh, but second, and secondly, we we don't we we definitely want to make sure that everyone else that has any interest in it is able to use it because you know that not being able to would be there. And plus, if it's if people like my mom who use it, that means the nerds will be able to use it easily, easily. So absolutely, I think I think you guys have done a great job. And I'm I'm again I'm I'm very proud to be a part of this team. So I'm, I'm going to wrap this up and obviously encourage everyone to check out the beta. It's app.augur.net. It's app.augur.net. Check it out. Uh, by all means, play with it. Create markets. Uh, participate in markets. And if there's any issues, bugs, hit that feedback button and, and send it to us. The, the way that this project gets better is with responses. You know, what is it? Many I, I don't know the exact quote, but I'll paraphrase, paraphrase that many eyes see more flaws. So 
you know, BRIs for us, help, help us out here, and I'm sure Augur and the rest of the dev team appreciate that. And with that said, you can follow Jack on Twitter at TensorJack. You can follow me on Twitter at Tony Swish. More importantly, you can follow Augur on Twitter at Augur Project. And there's always Augur.net, and our community is R Augur on Reddit. So just reddit.com slash R slash Augur. There's also on our uh, website, there's a link to join our Slack. We have a public Slack page. So you can kind of follow along with what's going on. And as always, you know, follow us on all of our social media. We're on Facebook, we're on Google Plus. We're, we're most active on Facebook and Twitter, but we do follow on all the other ones. And uh, Jack, did you have anything you'd want to wrap up with and say before we let everyone go? Uh, yeah, just one other thing, which is uh, if for any of the, the more technically minded people uh, that, that might be listening to this, um, if, if, uh, by all means, feel free to use the feedback button that, that's on the app. Um, we organize uh, all of our technical work through GitHub issues. Um, so if you go to the, uh, the Augur project GitHub, which is github.com slash Augur project slash Augur, um, just create an issue. Please don't be shy about doing that. Um, and if you, if you create an issue, uh, I might not get it to eventually, but uh, someone on someone on the team will get to it. And if we don't end up implementing whatever it is, you'll at least get an explanation for why we didn't. Perfect. Well, th thank you, thank you, and Joey earlier for joining me. And once again, app.augur.net. We're going to push that, push that, push that. Uh, take care, everyone. Have a, have a good day. And thanks again for checking this out and checking out Augur. Take care.